So your girl just got her hair done. She's cute. She's looking brand new. So now that I'm situated, I am about to go get my nails done because I have two nails missing. Hey y'all, back again. Um, I didn't go get my nails done because, girl, I had went to get a smoothie. Like, wow, that was like a, I guess, detox type of tea. Literally, I drank that around 1.45. That shit tore my stomach up for like three hours straight. I could not leave the house. I was missing my appointment. I told my nail tech I think I'm pregnant because I didn't want him to like <laughs> be mad that I had to cancel on him. So that was like the only thing like I thought to say. Um, but knock on wood though. I repeat that in the name of Jesus. Actually, never mind. I was about to say something federal. Real up federal. Let me show y'all real quick. She's giving. I'm going to add some more blush. I'm someone where I don't mind telling people my business. Not like my business business, but like I don't mind sharing on YouTube that, oh, <laughs> I got a UTI the other day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm not as private as some YouTubers are. I'm not as private as some people on social media are. Like, I have friends who are like super fucking private, would never tell a soul anything. But like me... I don't know like I just did not put too much but yeah like with me I just I don't know like I like keeping it a buck I like keeping it real because everybody we all go through the same shit if it's not the exact same story bitch it's something similar you know and I just really hate how when things happen in my life I want to talk to y'all about it but I'm current it's with people that are currently still in my life that video that's on my page about me like losing friends or blah 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 that I did like last year around this time. Um, I was talking about people who were no longer in my life. So I didn't give a fuck how they would feel that I was sharing my side of the story or that I was sharing, you know, my feelings, like anything. I didn't care. But what I'm going through right now are with people who are still in my life. So it's kind of like, a, why would you tell the internet that? Blah, 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 blah. You know, shit like that. But like, y'all, like I legit don't care like i'm open to talking about things because i know people deal with the same shit you know what i'm saying but not everybody get that some people look at it as like like how are you so open and like telling the world your business and i'm just like that's why being a youtuber influencer whatever you want to call it like it's not for everybody to keep it a bug it's really stopping my bag because i could i feel like i could be a lot further if i was you know, just getting on here telling y'all all the crazy shit that happens to me because it be crazy. But anyways, I'm about to go turn off the heat because I don't know why I turned it on. And I'm about to go put on my clothes and I'll talk to y'all. talk to you guys when I am done getting ready and we're heading out the door because I'm actually running late I was supposed to leave my house at 2 it's 2 16 and I'm nowhere near done I still gotta do my hair so, yeah. so I just got done with laser girl I tried to record in there but like when I first walked in, like when she took me back, cause that's my girl, Irene. I fuck with her. I go to um, 7Q, hold on. Cause I know this Tesla not about to hit my car. Cause I know she's not trying to pay me. Like, I know you got money, but I know you don't got that much money to pay me, to buy me a Tessie. So don't hit me with your Tessie. Anyways, um, I go to 7Q Spa here in Glendale. I love, love, love them so much. Like, I literally get probably everything done by them. I mean, you know, minus certain things, but <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, 
girl i tried to record in there but we just like she was moving so fast to where we just got down and dirty and i could not focus on to get my camera out because i was like trying to record but then the laser started shooting already on my coochie girl and i just got hot like it was just whoo girl we was cracking up i'm talking about the entire time i'm like eek, 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 eek. like jumping right i'm i'm like are you serious lyric but eh, it's honestly not that bad it's super fast for the whole vagina it's probably 60 seconds so i just got to the mall it probably seems like my mood has changed because girl i'm pissed off i looked at the passport photo and it's cute from a distance but like me i'm very nitpicky about my pictures i made him take it over like three times i'm so glad it was a guy who was like my around my age because i feel like if it was one of them old ass ladies they would have been like that's it that's it like no bitch no it's not i refuse to have another picture look like my id picture um Secondly, when I went to the post office to see if I could set up an appointment for, you know, to fill out the form and stuff like that. Girl, they're about the next appointment is not until March 30th. Bitch, it's March 7th. Hello, what's not clicking, Steven? I'm trying to get the fuck ASAP. Like, ugh. <laughs> To get bras which i told y'all i just said you know i really was just going for two bras because i know they bras like 40 dollars so i was like Child, i am not trying to go go big so i just wanted like two bras which okay i got the two bras however i ended up getting the bras at the end of the damn shopping experience because i was too busy buying the other stuff that it was making me buy so anyways i got two bras i got a black one because surprisingly i don't have a black um bra this is my favorite oh shit i'm gonna show y'all my titty i thought i had a bra on because my titties was just sitting i thought you know <laughs> broken titties big double duties but anyways um no but my favorite bra looks exactly like this but it's purple and i had it since i was like a junior in high school bitch i'm graduating from college next month that's that's sick um so yeah <laughs> it was time to re-up Finally, so I finally got a black bra. I'm feeling sexy, period. And then I got it in yellow. <laughs> I know, such an odd color, but I got it in yellow because my boyfriend's favorite color is <laughs> yellow. But his favorite color is white, but he likes to see yellow. And I feel like I always just get basic colors. I didn't want no none with like texture and stuff like that because when you wear solid shirts, they usually show through the shirt. I don't like that. I like the solid. Um... Anyways, y'all don't care. <laughs> So yeah, I got those. And then, y'all, they had this new line of um, fragrance or whatever. And it comes with a moisturizing cream body wash with shea butter. They have an, a matching exfoliating body scrub. <laughs> and then, okay, these two products I didn't really care for. Like, I didn't care to get them. But the deal was, uh, the deal was buy four get them for forty dollars or if you buy one of these items it's twenty dollars each so i was like i might as well get free two free products you know what i mean so these are the two products that i basically got free i got this one because it's not a perfume it's more of a mist but i like to go to sleep smelling good and i noticed that i need to stop spraying my actual real perfume to go to sleep because if i sleep a lot that means I'm using my perfume a lot. So why would I do that? You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to get something that like smells good. That I felt like would last throughout the night. And that I would want to sleep in. Because I like going to sleep, you know, smelling good. Um, and then I got the lotion. Because it has, it's a hydrating body lotion. 24 hour moisture with, Sheba, with shea butter. And it has coconut oil. 
I got this little, okay, I don't know why I kept buying shit. Like, I don't know why. I don't know why. But anyways, um, this little Victoria's Secret Tees Fine Mist. It's like a mist, so it's not perfume. But this shit smells so good. It's going to be basically a perfume I keep in my purse. So, like, whenever I feel like I need to, like, freshen up or whatever like that, this is one of those uh, mists that you could just, like, keep on you without feeling like you got to ruin your perfume bottle. Because... See, look, I can't even find a top. So today I had packed my Miss Dior um, perfume bottle, but I put it in my purse and I normally don't do that. But like now it's like kind of like dusty and like I don't even know where the top is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's ghetto. But versus this, this looks so much better just being in your purse and then the small so it could fit in small purses. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know the vibe. Just in case my nigga want to pop up on me again, bitch, I just you know, smell good or whatever. But anyways that and then the last thing i got was these shorts they're like pajama shorts and i'm not sure if i'm gonna wear my pajamas up because in my mind since it has this black stripe on it i know y'all probably can't see the vision right now but y'all know how people be turning the tom ford um pajama pants and shorts into like an actual outfit that was my idea with this one so i wanted to do like a black um bodysuit with my black like um Bottega looking shoes y'all know what I'm talking about the ego official and <laughs> put y'all around but anyways yeah I feel like that would be a look and then from Zara I got um the fragrance everybody has been raving about because of Kyra I finally got it it's still on my arm like it's so strong I wouldn't say that I don't like it however I do feel like I have a perfume that smells like this because I made it in New York like me and my friend had went to New York and you know how you can make your own perfume. I feel like my perfume that I made smells exactly like that. Like exactly like that. Now I'm kind of mad because I'm like, wow, like I could have, I could have got a bag. Like I could have really took that shit to the lab. You know what I'm saying? I put it in a couple bottles and then boom, everybody go crazy. You know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of upset about that. But nonetheless, it's a, it's definitely not going to be for everybody. It's not an everybody scent and it's not an everyday scent. I don't know how people wear this shit every day. Like, it's strong. Cheers. Sorry, baby. Sorry, baby. No. But anyways, I'm about to shower and use all of my new products. Cheers to the freaking weekend. I'm playing this Monday, which is the start of the week. Anyways, but I will talk to y'all tomorrow.